this is the next day after our trip up and I have some constant not some concentrates but I have some classified bank run from those red clay dirty areas pan three pans the gold's a little spotty my brother sent me a message and says that he found some gold I have found some gold so I classified it and I'm gonna run them together even though it was two areas separated by a few hundred feet through the sluice um, but before I do that I have to I want to clean it because it's basically looks like red paint when you get it wet so I'm gonna clean out some of that dirty stuff so my pump doesn't have to pump mud so we'll get that wet and just run the junk over the top Probably not the best way to do it, but it's what I got. Pretty ugly. Like good chocolate milk right now. Whoops, <laughs> my bucket is split. I have to redo this somehow. Real life, man. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Tell me how I should have done it in the first place. Next time I'll next time I'll know. Am I losing gold? Maybe. I don't care very much because it's really tiny and this is just a test. Alright, that's probably enough entertainment to about there with this. I'll clean this up and then <laughs> we'll get back to it. Hang tight. I'm getting, getting ready to run the concentrates, kind of, because I did clean them up. Let's see, the one, on the, the one on the right, the little white bucket is the second stuff. That's all going together, but it doesn't matter. The one on the left is the first stuff. That's the first stuff is where we found our gold on, in the field. So we'll run this. And, and see and I'll show you a little bit. Got some iced tea because that's good for the soul. Still kind of red looking. Gotta work on this because my hose is not pointing in the right direction. Kind of causes problems sometimes. 
I'll get a box built for it eventually. header box. That might work. Good thing I can't cut with the chainsaw straight. It's got a nice angle on it. Let you watch some of this section over here. Dump some in. Notice how when it gets just about done, you'll see some black sand on this back edge. See it coming in there? Maybe not. Hang on. See this orange in there? That's my host material, uh, and uh, it'll kind of build up, but it's in there activating, running back and forth, and bouncing around, so the heavies all drop to the bottom, and uh, let it run a while without doing anything. It'll actually clean out some and uh, make it uh, provide me with less stuff to pan. I'll do a couple more of these and then I'll, I'll just simply come back to the panning part, which is the most fun because that's where the goodies are. Good, you'll see this, but I'm gonna turn the pump off and kind of watch the brain. Sometimes it's interesting. You yeah, remember I talked about some of the bigger ripples, like this one here. Pressure going over, it's holding all that stuff up. And when the water stops, the pressure is, or actually the low pressure is released, and so it falls away, it gets liberated. That's why it's bad to start and stop your water sometimes because it falls away and then you start your pump and, or whatever and then it kicks it loose and you lose gold. Get him, killer. He weighs about a pound and a half. Now that stuff's pretty... Uh, heavy looking. It didn't fall away very much at all. You just 
dismantle my redneck header box here. Just have to drain a little more water. Some people would even yell at me about that, but not a huge deal. Yeah, it did stuff away a bit. Yeah, let's get in there and get a closer look. We'll see what we got. So the disclaimer is I'm no expert. But this stuff is different than what would be placer, what you'd find in a river. This is more like hard rock mining stuff because it's brittle, not brittle, but it's got sharp edges and it's fractured. It's not washed and rolled and polished and rounded like a river would do or a mud flow or that sort of thing. So it's a little bit like a hard rock mine. Anyway, that's what it looks like to begin with. I'll wash it out and we'll see. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but it started looking interesting. This is not the red stuff. That stuff was pitiful. Seems it was spotty because found more in other places there. But even with the volume and the ease of getting that material, it's not worth it. So this is hard work out of the river. Although I guess it's worth it. We're helping the fish even though the granolis don't think so. Because now they got a place to spawn. <clears throat> anyway, uh, this started looking interesting so I thought I'd show you. I don't know if you can see. Probably not. This isn't going to work. So I'm no wizard, I can't pan upside down, but there's a nice piece right there. Probably pretty flat, that's why it's on top. We'll see what else is under there. Yeah, that was pretty flighty. Oh yeah. And Just to poke at the granolis one more time, there's a steel ball bearing I pulled out of the river. Cleaned it up. Imagine what I could have done with a dredge or a high banker. Could have really done some good. You're going to get tired of hearing me talk about it because I'm really ticked off. Can't wait for the next election. Oh yeah, two pieces of lead in there. That's good. Clean that out. <laughs> Probably all I got for my trouble, but... Alright, I'm standing on the ground. The camera's on the porch. One, two, three, four, five nice flakes and about ten little specks out of half of the concentrates that I got, and I only ran about a half a bucket through my sluice. Anyway, I'm going to pan the rest of it and uh, I'll either come back like this or just take a picture. Alright, there's a little more. I did lose a piece and I'm wondering if I lost more, but... Oops, that's why. <laughs> I'm a clod. But that's kind of pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six nice pieces and... Seven or eight, I guess. Now that I look at it closer. Little specks. Half a bucket of river material. Found another steel ball bearing and another couple pieces of lead. 
All right, thanks for watching.